Chansey's not the big problem here. The big problem is that fucking mill tank. Chicory's double teaming. No! No! <laughs> Leave my boy alone. Double team again. Uh, what did I use last time? It was Leah. So let's start pursuing Sunnyside. How do you hit two through double team? It's not... <laughs> I fucking hate this fucking game. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. How is it going, guys? My name is Monty Bennett, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Academy Life. Now, my voice has warmed up a little bit. It started to heal a little bit, but it's still a bit deeper than it usually is. So... We're just going to get back into this and we're going to go, but yeah, some of the accents are going to be a little bit strange. So, I'm pretty sure today is the day that we go and rescue Sabrina. So without further ado, let's get in and go ahead and do that. But we also, I believe, have a scene here with Nessa, which I believe is supposed to be us taking her out on a date. So, I'm curious. I am very, very curious. <laughs> let's find Nessa and go and have a bit of a bit of a time with Nessa. Having texted Nessa and arranged a time and place to meet up for your date, you make your way to the recreation center, where Nessa said she was hanging out by the pool. Let's see, where could she be? Ah, there. Hey, Nessa! Ready for our date? <laughs> what is that? What is that animation? You <laughs> just... Just sliding, just like... <laughs> She's taking her time, huh? <laughs> She's not taking that long, is she? God damn it. Whoa, did I catch you right as you were about to go for a swim? Nah. But your outfit? Yeah, I just wear this. Pretty hot, right? I mean, yeah. Life's too short to not be as hot as you can. I've probably only got another, what, 10 years left of this? I'm gonna milk it. Cool. I am definitely not complaining. Is your offer of a date still on the table? Why wouldn't it be? I mean, the whole frenergy thing. It's whatever. Old news at this point. Really? I believed your speech. Most people probably did as well. Hearing Sabrina's thoughts affected me way more than anything I heard about you. Ouch. That's a good thing. So where are you taking me? I actually spent a lot of time thinking about this. My first thought was a fancy restaurant or maybe a movie. Classic. Can't go wrong with that. But you strike me as the kind of woman who's probably had a lot of dates like that. Can't deny it. So then I thought about, you know, really hard about what kind of date you've never been on before. And I'm pretty sure I know where to take you now. Alright. It's kind of an uphill battle to excite her, isn't it? Right, let's go. Go into the fields. <laughs> Yo, let's go for a nice walk in the countryside with the bros. That's that's the way to get them ladies excited. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the fields? Yeah, there's something pretty cool I wanted to show you. Alright, I'm down. This is something new at least. Whoa, what's this? This is a meteor crater. It's not quite as cool as it used to be, though. It used to be glowing orange and blue, but looks like it's not anymore. Still, big hole in the ground. Kind of neat, right? <laughs> Me man, hole, hole look cool. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of neat. All right, I'll give you a break. You've shown me something kind of cool, and that's enough for now. I'm just glad you didn't take me to another restaurant. I've had so many dates take me out for Colosian food. I feel like I can speak the language at this point. Phew, it was kind of a shot in the dark, but I guess I dodged a bullet, huh? Well, it wouldn't have been an instant turn-off, but yeah, I'm pretty used to those kind of dates. Here, sit down with me. Let's chat. You sit down next to Nessa. Your legs dangle over the side of the pit. Mind if I ask a question? Just ask. We're on a date. Right. When you first met, you, you basically asked me out on a date. So, why? Fishing for compliments? Nah, just trying to figure out what you saw in me. You seem like a nice guy. 
you listen to me, you're good looking, and you didn't stare at my chest too much. Is that your criteria for a nice guy? You think I should have higher standards? Nessa, you're a model. You're gorgeous. You've got to be at least a little rich, and you're a good battler too. You can afford to have any standards you want, and someone will rise to meet them. Yeah, maybe. My standards for getting a second date are pretty high though. I guess maybe my cutoff point is just later than it would be for others. Right. So what's your goal here at Cobacon? What do you want to do when you graduate? I want to be a champion. That's always been my only goal. Nice goal. I've heard it before, but you say it with conviction. Why do you want to be a champion though? But why? Yeah, being a champion is a short-term goal. <laughs> what does being a champion let you do? Being a champion is a short-term goal? Some people spend decades trying to do that. Oh yeah, I, I guess that's right. I guess I was just thinking of Leon. Leon? Champion of Galar? Yeah, friend of mine. You, you're friends with Leon? Was... Well, was. He's busy now. Champion stuff. But wait, Ethan told me something about Leon. Isn't Leon, like, quite a bit older than you? Yeah, he became champion five years ago. He's just never lost a battle since. But you said you were a minor until recently. How could you be friends if you were so much younger than him? Have you ever met the guy? He's a ten-year-old in a man's body. Out of the four of us, I was the most mature, even though I was the youngest. Wait, four of you? Yeah, our group of friends. We used to call ourselves the Galarian Stars. I was the youngest, the sensible one, the one who kept us all grounded. Then there was Ryan, he always used to call me Lil Nessie, an arrogant blowhard, but he lifted you up, butted heads with Leon every chance he got. Sonya was next, she was the granddaughter of a Pokemon professor, bit of a ditz, no self-esteem, but the smartest girl I know. And Leon was the oldest of us, he was pants with directions, but wherever he looked, he saw the stars and followed them. <laughs> Sounds like a good group of friends. We were inseparable. We went everywhere together, did everything. We all knew we would become champions. They were all, just all waiting for me to become 18. Then we'd take the gym challenge together. But... Leon got an endorsement from a big week in Galar. The chairman of the entire league. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity. I wasn't going to ask him to wait for me obviously, so we changed the plan. Well, Leon became champion within the year. When a new Galarian champion is crowned, they usually immediately endorse the person they feel is most likely to unseat them. It's a tradition. So Leon endorsed Raihan, of course. Raihan apologised to Sonya and I, but set off on his challenge. He didn't make it to champion, though. No, but he managed to make it right up to the league, eventually securing the 8th major league gym leader spot. So at that point, we figured that he could endorse Sonya, and then Sonya could endorse me. Sonya couldn't make it. She dropped out after the fifth gym. Oh, jeez. We knew that the fifth gym leader was retiring soon, so we thought maybe Sonya could take over there, like Raihan did the eighth. Training schools aren't really a thing in Galar. Most trainers just start their journeys and learn as they go, but we learned about Kobacon Academy and heard it was a great place to get practical experience. So Leon paid for her to go to Kobacon, and, well, you already know, she dropped out of that too. She sent each of us handwritten letters apologising for her failures and then cut communication with us. Didn't even respond to our texts. We all thought we'd never see her again until I saw her in the lunch hall. But at least you've made contact again, right? Yeah, well, I figured I wasn't going to be getting an endorsement anytime soon from either Leon or Raihan, so I'd just try my own hand at this Cobacon thing. Why wouldn't they endorse you? I was a public figure, so were they. It was common knowledge that we were all friends before Leon ever met, became champion. Wouldn't look good if the champion was endorsing unproven trainers just because they were friends. Raihan could always hold his own against Leon. Sonya, despite her crippling insecurities, also knew more about the intricacies of battle than I think Leon does even now. And I looked good in a bikini. <laughs> the chain could have worked though. Leon through Raihan, through Sonya, to me. Would have been enough degrees of separation. But the chain broke. Mm, but we wouldn't have had to rely on the chain if everyone had just waited. If they'd just been patient. If they'd just thought long term about this. About any of this. I'm sorry. Yeah, so that's kind of the state of the Galarian stars now. 
One got everything he wanted. One is still fighting for it. One disappeared. And I'm just starting my journey after everyone I care about is already finished. Aw, poor Nessa. Are you sure? What do you mean? Like, are you sure they're finished? I'm pretty sure. Leon didn't really have a goal beyond coming champion. Raihan's going to try and beat him, but that's kind of never happening. And Sonya's already failed twice. I haven't asked her about it, but I don't think she's ever planning on coming back to Galar again. I don't think those sound like endings. How are they not? Well, maybe Leon continues to be undefeated for years. Does Raihan's story stop just because he doesn't change that? I guess not. But I don't know who'd bother telling it. Newsflash, nothing has changed. Boring, right? Nessa, I firmly believe the most important part of the adventure is the journey, not the destination. I know you think that the only run that matters now is the long run, but I run every day, and I don't really care about how much distance I cover. <laughs> All that matters is that I ran. So you're disagreeing with me? Guess I am. Good. Most dates just yes-man their way through. Of course, most dates don't hear the whole Galarian star spiel. Guess I'm off my game. It's been a weird evening. I don't think you guys are done. I don't think any of you are done. I mean, you said you wanted to be a trainer because you were, af you were afraid that modelling wouldn't last for you, right? Every end is a new beginning, so maybe the Galarian star's collective dream burned out. Sounds to me like you're all still pursuing your individual dreams. Can't believe I'm saying this, but you should try seeing things a bit more long term. For your friends, at least. But you should totally try living in the moment more, too. I'll think on that. Cool. So, what are my chances of another date? Well, I liked our conversation. Let's actually do something next time, though. Fair enough. I'll start brainstorming now. So, one date down. That wasn't a complete disaster. What does that make us? Hmm. You're a friend. Wait. You'll date someone before you befriend them? Anything to open the door. Even a model has to try to grab people's interest, you know. Well, colour me interested. If all from date to friend. Hanging out with Nessa will now convey an amount of EXP. Problem is, I'm supposed to be dating Leaf and I've just randomly went on a date with Nessa. Is that not, like, a bad thing? Is that not, like, really bad? <laughs> I'm a two-time in motherfucker, you know what I mean? Right, let's go get let's go get Sabrina with Raihan in tow. Not so fast. Uh, Sonia, what did your survey say? Looks like this part of the forest is called the Windswift Woods. The especially tall trees called we oh, I can't do her voice right now, it's messing my throat up. <clears throat> the especially tall trees cause wicked air currents up top. Flying types make this place their home, in addition to the expected grass types. Huh? We staked the place out to figure out what kind of wild Pokemon we might meet. Honestly, Rosie, you, sh you could stand to think a bit ahead. There's no stunt double to take your place. No reshoots on this stage if anything goes wrong. I'm... Yeah, you're right. You're doing the right thing. Let's just do it smartly. We don't need to do this smartly, girls. You've got the great Ryan here. My rock types will make these flying types embarrassed to have wings. Right. Alex, if you've got any forever to give Flopadosh the ice type, uh, now might be a good time to use them. Okay, do I? Because I don't think I do. I haven't got any ice type ones. No, I do not. I have, um, more electric? What does this one do? Mareep. It will give us Dragon Breath and Cotton Guard. What about the Tynamo one? This will give us... Base that scale to electric at level 39. Huh. When you uh, can teach bounce and dive. Nah. Nah. I think we're good as we are. I think we're fine as we are. We might be in trouble when it comes to, uh, like, Barrow not being up to scratch, but I think we're fine. Oh, let's not look at Rock Smash. Or perhaps electric, or rock, or flying, or fire, hmm? I could give it a flying one. I could give it the Noibat forever. Yeah, let's use it on Flobodosh. No, give it to Flobodosh. 
So Flobberush is now going to be flying and electric. Yeah. Yeah. It's the moves, though. Quick attack, nozzle, draining kiss. I could do with an electric move that's not nozzle, but I don't have one. Oh, well. Let's skip the dungeon. Oh, man. We're through. I'd rather spend seven months shooting in the jungle's Fiore than do that again. I fucking love Fiore in the Ranger games. So good. Ugh, it's chilly. Are you two... Stop. Are you two seriously whining about this? It was just a short hike. Yeah, I'm a Ness. That was nothing. Speak for yourself. I'm used to having my air-conditioned trailer whenever I'm within 50 feet of a tree. What a surprise. You're more of a princess than I thought. The princess? I... Why, I never... Help. You... You lot heard that, right? Yeah, that was definitely Sabrina. So this is the girl you called me to help. Alright. There. Sabrina! She looks different. Did you do something new with your hair? Hey, I'm suddenly a lot more into this rescue mission. Now's not the time for jokes. We have to save her. Granted, but from what? She looks fine, if a bit exposed. You're saying that, Ness? It's my choice. I just want to make sure that that was hers. Sabrina? We come for... What? What are you coming for? A great treasure. Us coming for our treasure. This isn't her. Something's controlling her. I reckoned we might need to prepare for a nasty fight then. Alright, let's go. I, I'm sorry, I can't. My, my, my party was wiped out in the forest. I feel right awful about this, honest, but Yampa's a bit knackered right now. Sorry, but my party's exhausted from the forest. I gotta step out for this one. My new party's wiped out, sorry. I hadn't trained them well enough yet. Sabrina's emotions fluctuate through everyone's minds. Her Pokemon become moody. Oh dear. That's not good. We don't want to fight moody shit. Oh my god. I am in danger. Alright, Ardent Gaze. Oh god, no. Alright, Leech Seed onto the Kadabra. We come for... Okay. Calm Mind. Me luck. Perish Song. Oh my god. And it's got Magic Card and Moody. Oh my god, right, we need to... Oh, fuck. Ivy's in so much trouble. Ivy is in so much trouble. Oh my god. Be beware. Man clad. Yeah, we are in so much trouble. Oh god, okay. I've just realised it doesn't really matter what I do, because they're all about to die. So all I've got to really do is just try to survive. So let's drain and kiss the Kadabra. No, the Ghastly. We actually killed it in one. That's pretty impressive. Ivy leveled up as well. That's perfect. Uh, sweet kiss. Uh, no, I think I'm okay for now. Forget sweet kiss. Chiggery gained experience. What's Chiggery gaining? Oh, I've still got the EXP share on Chiggery. I need to take that off. Okay, well, they're about to die, so I'm going to send out Chiggery, in fact. Oh, they've still got Perish counts. Okay. Uh, I'm going to double team. I suppose use Light Screen. Use the Astonish- Oh, come on! How's it going to hit me when I'm ch- when I'm fucking- Ugh, oh, that, that's annoying. That's really annoying, actually. Alright, Flobberosh, get out. They're going to die now. It's an Inke. Okay. Well, I should be able to just drain and kiss this thing to death, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to nozzle it first. Psybeam and him. Oh, fucking, this is a pain in the ass fight, isn't it? Yeah, and we're dead. Cool. Great start, gang. We are definitely losing this. Okay, Barrow, show us your power. Pursuit the Esper. And let's do it again, I guess. Nope, because it's going to crit me and kill me. We are in so much... 
so much shit. Alright, uh, Brutus is not the play here because he's just going to die to whatever they use. Alright. Thank God it missed with that hypnosis. That could have been a pain in the ass. Right, uh, what's your... You've got high attack, high special attack, and your uh, quiet nature. So Ice Shard is going to do about as much. Oh, it's going to light screen me. Alright. Now it's time to start Ice Sharding. Oh, fuck's sake, man. Ugh. Yeah, great. This is this is helpful. This is fun. Oh, I'm tilted. I'm tilted. Right. Yeah. What what am I supposed to do about that? Literally, what am I supposed to do about that? Like, I, it mean looked me immediately. Oh, that's annoying. Right. We gotta try again. We gotta try again. Fucking. I'd have won that if I'd have not fucking played it stupidly. It's my fault. Who's that? Um, it's me, uh, Yellow. Oh, hey, what's up? The quarter clash rankings are out. I thought you might be interested in seeing them. Oh, for sure. Just give me a sec. Where's everyone else? Blue and Leaf headed out early to the battle hall. Uh, Ethan's still asleep. Huh. Well, he's got some time before classes begin. Let's let him sleep. Anyway, you said the QQ rankings were out? Yep, hung up by the homerooms. Cool, let's check them out. <laughs> it's still the fucking poster's still there. <laughs> someone took my face. Oh, someone ripped my face off. Oh, someone took my face. That's not great, but look at the winner's sheet. Onesie A. Huh? I took the number one spot? The spot you take is relative to the strength that the trainer should beat. Since you beat a trainer that was projected to go much, much farther than you, you earned a ton of points. Awesome. Oh, but wait, that means... You look at the bottom right of the runners-up sheet. As predicted, D. Burlitz is there. Oops. Sorry, Dawn. Looking over the sheets, you're not overly surprised by any of the results. Seems like almost everyone you know made it up, made it through. That's to be expected for a Cobacon student, though. There are only a few notable exceptions. Yellow and Dawn did not pass, as you were aware. However, neither did Nate or Serena. Hmm, that's odd. I've battled both of them, and they seem tough enough. I wonder what... Ugh. Well, I suppose I can ask later. Well, that was pretty much it. Sorry about, um, your face. I'll give him something else to talk about. <laughs> Let's go for the patience. That's a good idea. Alex, do you, um, do you remember me? No, I don't think so. As far as I know, we met in the garden last Wednesday. Hmm. But you are Alex from Pallet Town, right? And you used to go by Alex Sugimori? As far as I know, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one. Okay. Maybe we should talk about this sometime. Sure. How's tomorrow? Hmm. Blue and I are going on a picnic tomorrow. Uh, perhaps in the afternoon? No way. You and him? A picnic? How does that go down? Does he get in a fight with other campers over the best picnicking spot? Sometimes. I'm trying to avoid that this time, though, so I'm in charge of finding the picnic spot. I'm thinking somewhere shady, maybe uh, near a river would be nice. The devil works hard, but yellow works harder. Alright, sounds good. Want to get some breakfast before class? Sure. You touch my face on a poster and I'm taking yours, mate. Peeling it off, you know what I'm saying? Right, EXP for level 20. I suppose we'll do one more fairy level. Choose fairy, go to fairy class. Okay, so about Pokemon that are fairy type. Are you studying something new? I'm trying, man. What? What? What was that supposed to mean? <laughs> ah, you've noticed all the comfy outside. Yes, I may well have. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a good Confei that I've got right here, and I'm very happy with uh, with him. Good old Ivy. I suppose I'll have to take credit. They've been specially brought from Alola and provided with flowers from all around the world. I thought they might serve as good inspiration for budding trainers. You see, each Confei selects its own set of flowers, so none are exactly alike. They nurture these blossoms with their healing powers, meaning the bouquet in each carries is, ali is as alive as the Pokémon itself. It's no small task to build an ensemble where each piece complements every other. It takes an understanding of each individual as well as the whole. Now, doesn't that sound a bit familiar? Valerie's metaphor sinks in for half the students, but all of them nod vigorously. That's talking about your Pokémon team. Your fairy proficiency is now level 20. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Don't go into the forest. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh dear. And that's the end of the lecture. Personally, I think the practical experience of a battle is worth a half dozen lectures, but we'll have to get through them. Hmm. Battle training only reinforces what the lecture imparts. If there was one aspect to forego, it would be battles. Bruno once again proving the trainers don't need to see eye to eye on everything to get along. Ha ha ha. But on a serious note, Bruno, I've heard your lectures, and they're drier than a crocodile's backside. I was not aware one's ability to moisten one's speech made one any more e e efficacious as an instructor. You'd be surprised. Anyway, let's move on to the battles. Alex, it's time for your rematch with Whitney. I trust this will be a more honorable battle than last time. <laughs> yes, instructor. Good. Alex, just because you helped me find Tia, don't think that I'm going to go easy on you. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm going all out this time. No sandbagging, no tricks, just me and 160 pounds of cow on your face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I don't need no cow on my backside, thank you. You're going to sit on me? <laughs> Let's see you try to hit a home run. <laughs> ha! You should know, that's my specialty. I can't remember what voice I gave. I know it was like some... You should know, that's my specialty. Why do we keep doing these fucking battles? I don't know. Either way, uh, rock smash the crap out of this. Start double teaming. And let's get rid of that Chansey if we can. Uh, no, no. Chansey's not the big problem here. The big problem is that fucking mill tank. Chicory's double teaming. No! No! <laughs> Leave my boy alone. Double team again. Uh, what did I use last time? It was Leah. So let's start pursuing Sunnyside. How do you hit two through double team? It's not. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate this fucking game. Ah! <laughs> Uh, okay. What I'm gonna do... I'm gonna send... Flobolosh out next. And we're gonna nuzzle everything. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tackle Treble now. And we're gonna nuzzle Treble. And we're going to, uh, pursue Sunnyside. How are you... I fucking hate this Miltank, man. It's a fucking piece of shit. You leave Ivy alone, you stupid fucking Chansey. Alright. Okay. Rock smash. No. Tackle onto treble. I'm going to draining kiss treble. Oh, no I'm not. No I'm not. I'm switching out immediately. Oh, no I'm not. Oh, no, we're going to draining kiss treble. And then we're going to pursue sunny side again. Fucking roll out. It shouldn't have hit the first two. It hit twice through fucking double team. So stupid, man. Oh, Doctor Doctor, which has got the normal type move. Right. Oh, how is Treble still alive? In fact, no. What we're gonna do is we're going to uh, rock smash onto Milty. We're gonna ice shard Treble. 
And then we're going to fucking Leah, I guess. Trouble switch that. And rollout hits again! She gets a five turn rollout. Ain't that the greatest thing in the world? I love that when the game does the thing that it shouldn't be doing. Ah! Alright. Suit this fucking mill tank. And now they get to double team and watch me miss. I fucking hate this mill tank, man. It's such a piece of shit. Ugh. Also, I've just realized I haven't once... I, I think I've used like five rock smashes now and I haven't once lowered defense. Oh, and it's fucking mill drinking too. Come on, dickhead. Ugh. Game. Nah, that's stupid. Oh, that's really stupid. It should never have missed. It should like it should have missed the first two rollouts against me. It should never have fucking hit them. I'm so annoyed. Oh, uh, well for it, challenger. I'd expect this level of smugness from Leaf, not from you. I hate you so much, Whitney. I fucking hate you so much, you piece of shit. <laughs> ah. Okay. That's it. That's... That's... That's where we are, I guess. <laughs> Still here. Thought he would have left by now. Just ignoring. Mealy Mouth Advisor. I already told the Ninetales to attack the school. Stole the Larvesta. I beg your pardon? Perhaps you'd like to whisper those dark words a bit louder? God, don't make a thing of it, Colosian. Come on, lads. Thanks. It's only the right thing to do. I suppose you've been handling a lot of that recently? I wouldn't exactly call it handling it, but yeah, I've been hearing a lot of it. I suppose it is some relief, then, that your power is not as strong as you may have feared. A little bit, yeah. Well, I'm confident you'll get through this. It is weak men who chastise others from the shadows. Thanks, Serena. It is, as always, my pleasure and privilege. Now please pardon me. I must be off. Alright, talk to you later then. Right, Whitney. You piece of shit, where are you? Where are you, Whitney? Where have you gone? There you are, at the fucking medical table. Yeah, go to the fucking medical table. Uh, Ivy did level up to level 20 off of that, which is good. Hmm. What are we saying? What are we saying trait-wise? Fairy is 20, Bug is 20. If I'm studying with Whitney... Like a normal or fairy... Do we just carry on doing that with Fairy, or do we switch over to someone else and do Dark? I think... Let's have a look at our social. Who's got good mood right now? Moody, 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 devoted, devoted. What does devoted mean? Cor oh, uh, blissful, ecstatic. She's, of course she's ecstatic, she just beat me, she hacks me. Fucking hacks goddess. <laughs> Joyful, mellow, discontent. Oh, I've got scenes with Jasmine and Sonia, baby. Raihan's already level eight, uh, level one. Wally's happy, dormate. Good boy. I, I hate saying that. Uh, mellow, content, mellow. I guess I'm. Who's doing dark? Hilda's doing dark. Bianca. Who else is doing dark? Serena's doing dark. She's mellow. Flying dragon, bug grass ground, dark not Sharen. I don't think he'd appreciate it if I studied with him. Uh, water rock, dark. Rock steel, dark. Hilda seems my best bet. No one else is doing dark. Yeah, no one else seems to be doing dark, so I think it's got to be Hilda. So we've got to try and find Hilda. But I've already joined the table, so I've kind of stuffed myself. Maybe I'll study with Jasmine. 
or maybe I think I'm kind of yeah I'm kind of hamstrung into studying with Whitney now anyway so I study fairies she's happy anyway so fairy proficiency is 20.25 and let's go do a dark class go to dark class now we've caught up to Barrow's level hey Ethan Alex good to see you let's get this done fairy type Pokemon are more daunting than they look they're strong against dragons, dark types, fighting types, all mainstays on champion and elite four level teams. Fairies are like something out of a horror movie. Take a look into those flat beady eyes, you won't see any mercy. I kinda like them. If you ever face one in battle, they're definitely beatable. Many are specialized for support roles, so moves like taunt and torment can really throw off their game plans. To hit them where it hurts, go for poison type moves. Plenty of dark types learn them, and you should all have some poison type in your repertoire. Karen brings up the Grimmsnarl line, the only dark fairy hybrids. That is very true. Dark proficiency is level 10. And I think now we should start being able to get the dark special move. Which is why 6 was decided as the optimal number of Pokemon for a trainer to carry at a time. And that's the end of the lecture. Have a, have a good weekend, everyone. He seems very skittish. Professor Oak seems to be in unusually low spirits right now. Go after him. Hey Sam, what's biting you? Oh, I suppose my ill mood is visible even to you? You mean especially to me, Sam. I know you better than any of your other students. Well, that's true enough. Well, it's a bit of an embarrassing confession to make, but I'm starting to wonder if I'm somewhat lacking as a teacher. Huh? What do you mean? Well, ever since Tuesday, I've been looking over everyone's tests quite thoroughly, and... There's no easy way to say this. Many of my students are doing quite poorly. I compared my results to those of the other homeroom instructors, and almost all of them exceed me on several key points. I wonder. It's true that you've passed every quiz I've levered at you so far. No, that's not true! I haven't! I failed the last two! But your classmates do not show similar success. That's just not true. I don't know if I can say you're a good teacher or not, but you're my friend, so I'm a bit biased. Hmm, I may need to think of this on, on this a bit more. Perhaps Dr. Cherry could provide some insights. She has a way of teaching that, if her student exam scores are any indication, should be something I should try to replicate. What? Huh. About time you listened. I've been trying to tell him for weeks now, but he always just thought I was attacking him. Apple doesn't fall. <laughs> Apple doesn't fall far from the ground tree, huh? Huh. <laughs> Blue walks off without a word. Weird. So we do have some scenes. We got Sonia, and I think we've got someone else too. It said Sonia, and there was someone else. Who was it? Jasmine. Where would Jasmine be? Sonia's there. Where's Jasmine? She in the... Where are you, Jasmine? You in Inspira? Do I want to go to Inspira? I don't think I have any levels or anything I could sort of gain from doing that. I could maybe get Flobodosh to 21, but that'll just kind of happen naturally anyway, if I'm, like, being honest. I need a lot of EXP to get Flobodosh to the next level anyway, so probably a good idea if I don't. Uh... <sighs> Now nah, let's let's save the Sonia scene for now. And I think I need to start focusing more on my levels. So maybe I'll go to the academy and do some studying with someone. I always end up studying with Dawn if I go there though, so I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, let's go to What am I doing? Let's go to the academy, study. Let's study... Study Dark. Study Dark with Hilda. Yeah. Study Dark with Hilda. You spend some time studying Dark-type Pokemon with Hilda. Yes, I do. And my Dark proficiency increased by 50%. That's pretty cool. Very close to being able to get a level. Oh, of course, it's Friday. It's Battle Team Friday. Nice. You know what to do. 
It's been one week since the biggest mistake this battle team has ever suffered. I'm sorry. This was not your mistake, but you're gonna have to work harder to make up for it. I know you can, though. It's not that I believe in you. I just know you can all get through this. The quarter clashes were a setback, but not a stop. Except for Daybreak. Except for Dawn. Now I got a tip through a very legitimate means that the next quarter clashes are gonna be squad battles. That means the next quarter clashes are gonna be team-based. We'll discuss how we decide teams later, but for now, I want everyone to be ready to battle alongside anyone else. Team-based? What? How does that work? Does that mean that multiple people will be eliminated in each round? Yes. I don't know how big the teams will be yet, but you should expect team sizes of anything from 3 to 5. I don't like working in a team. Kind of a dumbass move, joining something called the Battle Team, then. Yeah. Speaking of bad moves... Erica, did you apologize to Alex like I told you to? I... I fully intended to apologize to him, regardless of your command. But did you? Yes, of course. Okay. And did you accept the apology, Alex? I said... I'd give her time to think on it. Right. Time's up. Answer, now. Apology accepted. Good. I'm glad we can all be adults about this. Moving on, or back to what I was talking about before. Squad battles are a team-based battle format. You have less control over your Pokémon, but can defeat large swathes of opponents at a time. Strength is ever more paramount, given the lesser role strategy plays. Type advantages are as, in it are as integral as ever, if not more so. They were invented in Paldea by a group of students from Naran Hoover Academy, if you can believe that. They're just students like you. That shows it is never too early to change the world. This battle format became very popular as an alternative team-based format to double or triple battles. It allows every team member to shine in their individual niches. It also disallows the ever-so-popular team-killing prank that plagues the lower levels of competitive battling. Yeah, it's funny, but that's not the kind of funny we're going for. Funny? I'm not certain that's the correct term. I'm certainly not laughing. When was the last time you laughed at anything, Lance? A ridiculous question. It was... Hmm. <laughs> okay. For today's meeting, I've brought in a guest speaker. She's the leader of the Calf Star Training Center in Paldea, and she's one of the actual creators of the battle squad, uh, the squad battle format. There's no one more qualified to teach us how to excel in squad battles than her. Miss Eri? Where is she? Oh, está bien. Puede hacerlo simplemente salir de tu discurso. Puede hacerlo. Team Star se está internacionalado, internacionalizando a Jorado. Hazlo bien. I, I. That's the last time I try and speak Spanish on this fucking channel, okay? <laughs> That's one language I have basically had no exposure to whatsoever. French, a bit. Japanese, a bit. Italian, a bit. Korean, a little bit. Chinese, a tiny amount. Uh, Spanish? Nada. Nope. None. <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> oh, oops. Uh, Japanese, right? Pardon. I, what accent do I give this? I, I don't know how to voice this. What is this? Uh, pardon. My Japanese is not good. Please, forever, forgive this disgrace language. You're still better than some of the guys in the team last year. Oh, uh, Miss Janine, I, I speak Paldean. Should I translate? Ah, uh, no, no. I, I learned to speak better through practice. What I speak now, I learned from Pocket Dictionary on flight over. Practice is fundamentalist. Dude, why is there a luchador in our class? Pretty sure she's a Josie wrestler, actually. What? How do you... It's completely random whether you know something or not, you know that? The library in Pallet Town had like three DVDs for rent, and one of them was someone's taped recordings of an old Joshi League. Hey you two, eyes and ears. Sorry. 
I am Eri of the CAF group, Paldea. We invent squad battles. Oh, what for a fly? Oh no, it's two big ass fucking flies just flying through my window. Love that. We invent squad battles. We are very brilliant at them. Now I have the opportunity to teach you. Training, intense. Teamwork, non-negotiable. Is... Non-negotiable? Is... Is la palabra correcta? Si. Eso es correcto. You also speak Paldean Advisor Lance? I suppose you thought I obtained my terror orb in Kanto? Foolish question. He speaks enough to get by, but seriously, you don't want to know, <laughs> know how much area is co costing the school right now. Uh, let her speak, please. Sorry. Importance of team skills in squad battles cannot be overstate. Strong alone, good at single, double, three battle, does not matter. Harry walks, uh, <laughs> walks closer to the group and pulls out a large square map with various buildings and terrain features on it. The map is crisscrossed with a grid pattern. This grid seems extremely familiar to you. You look over at Blue and his eyes are wide. He's clearly had the same realization. You quickly have a conversation delivered through eyebrow waggles, confirming what you're both thinking. Suddenly, Blue starts to chuckle. <laughs> Blue? This is just Inferno and Logos! You know, I an F game? Of course, I'm amazing at it! Bueno, this makes things easier. Are all familiar with this then? Raise hands. Blue smugly puts his hand up. Looking at everyone else, only your roommates seem to know anything about Inferno and Logos. Or are the only ones willing to admit it at least. Well, it's not like anyone's gonna beat me up for being a nerd. You raise your hand too. Hmm, Alex, you know this game too? Only very recently, but yeah, I get the idea of how it works. Nice. Well, look at that. You learned a new trick without me even training you. I'll reward you for that. B bro? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Why are you cheering that leaf? I thought you were trying to get into my pants. <laughs> I, I think Leaf just likes to share at this point. I mean, she's fine with me going on dates with Nessa. She's fucking cheering me on for Janine doing that. Like, oh, weird. Weird situations all around. See? What did I say? I told you this was a serious war game. Oh? War? No, no. Uh, great leader Cassiopeia creates squad battle using this for inspiration, but game does not help in squad battles. We play because, you see... They are big nerd. Ah! Wow. I've never seen him deflate so easily, so quickly. I explain concept, rules, then I assist to the training. It is pleasure to meet all. Look forward to teaching you further. You listen along with your classmates as Eri explains how squad battles work. I'll get us some time next week to do some actual squad battle training. This might be before Friday, so keep an ear out. Also, we'll probably need to go somewhere with more room to maneuver. Maybe the forest? The forest has been reclosed to the student body. Seriously? Didn't Dean Drayden just reopen it? Ugh, whatever. I'll figure it out later. All understanding? The team nods, some more or less forcefully. Thanks, Eri. She's gonna be around campers for the rest of the year, taking classes too. If you see her, be nice to her. Harry, would you like to participate in the battle team's training tonight? Oh, very honored. But I think it's best if I watching, at, at least for now, would not want to force my way into team, yes? I, I get ya. Lance and Janine split up and begin tutoring the other battle team members' Pokemon. You look around for someone to train with and... Who we training with? I think... I think I want to go training with, with somebody who's not Blue or Leaf or Ethan because they're all bitches. Uh, we're training with Sonya. Righto. I remember a few techniques Janine taught us at the end of last year. If you wouldn't overly mind skipping ahead a bit. Lay it on me. Oh god, my foot is killing me. You train while waiting for Lance to make room for you. You notice he, once again, goes out of his way to teach the rest of the battle team members first. Brutus gained a bunch of EXP, Chigger regained a bunch of EXP, Barra gained a bunch of EXP, Ivy gained a bunch of EXP, Flavorush gained a bunch of EXP. I gained a lot of stuff. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. 
Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Stop giving me the silent treatment, dickhead. So I guess I'm talking first. This was not a moral victory. Oh great, that's where we're going with this. My claim was that you hindered yourself by using an objectively inferior member of an inferior species. Silver. It is obvious you did not know of your Pikachu's power until it became apparent. Therefore, you had no idea you were not doing the very thing I accused you of. Ergo, this ridiculous ploy at power you and your Pikachu have put on wins nothing... Ergo, this ridiculous ploy at power you and your Pikachu have put on wins nothing but a, me a single meaningless battle. That only works if you believe that I accept your premise, that there's an extant way of ranking the superiority or inferiority of a Pokémon. I don't think that there is. Sure, there's some objective measurements out there, but I don't think we're ever going to know it. You would claim to have a better understanding of a Pokémon's limits and abilities than the greatest trainers and scientists? Nah, but I think I've got an, at least an equal understanding. Because I know one of the greatest scientists in the world, Professor Oak, and he's told me he's pretty much as clueless about this as I am. And you're one of the greatest trainers in the world, and I'm pretty sure you have no idea what happened either. Correct me if I'm wrong. The scale of correction required here is not one that I am capable of providing single-handedly. I don't want to hear you badmouth Flobodosh anymore. Now he's got a special power. He beat a mega-evolved champion-level dragon. He's undeniably strong. I have less interest in what you want than I do in further debating your rudimentary and naive philosophy. What I say or do will be at my own whim, as ever. Ugh. Enough of this drivel. Make use of my services or free me from your presence. Well, speaking of, let's have a chat with... I am unable to teach this... creature. I cannot begin to determine what skills it may have possessed in the past. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Chiggery? you Ninjask? Very well. Fine, what do you want me to reteach this Pokemon? Bug Bite would be kinda nice. Uh, still got. I haven't got Mud Slap on it anymore. Oh, I have still got Mud, mud Slap on it. Fury Cutter's good. Bug Bite has more immediate power, though. Sand Attack could be nice, but it's not as good as Mud Slap. Like, Mud Slap is just objectively better. Maybe I don't want to teach uh, Ninjask. Maybe we go... Uh, oh God, Eric? Your Lapras? Very well. It's got nothing. It's It's got nothing. I think... Uh, how am I... Maybe Ivy. Maybe Ivy. Helping Hand could be nice. Flower Shield, but I haven't got any Grass Pokemon. Sweet Kiss. I was thinking about it. Maybe instead of Growth, but... Growth is just really good for single battles. I mean, basically the tactic for single battles is we use Mud Slap a bunch with Chiggery and then go a hard out into uh, Ivy and just start setting up and draining Kiss for the win. So, in fact, I actually don't think there's anything else I can give my move pool right now that would be worth it except for maybe something with Barrow. Like, Perish Song could be interesting for triple battles. In fact, yeah, I think that's probably the play. Uh, we don't really need Quick Attack. Oh, we kind of do, though. Get rid of Leah. Get rid of Leah. My big hit as a special attackers anyway. And Perish Song could be interesting. He seemed more pleased than usual. Can't imagine why. Alright, everyone head back to your dorms. You know the rule. Go straight back. Dean Drayden is on edge and we don't want to be responsible for any more crises. It was very fun to meet all. Look forward to more meetings as I teach all about squad battles. Her accent is just weird. I, I don't know what to do with it. But we're going to go to the forest. You attempt to casually mask your stride, but you can feel Janine's eyes burning into the back of your neck. I'm sorry, Janine, but this is really important. My Pokemon don't need healing. But we are going to go out into the forest. And we are going to try and rescue Sabrina. Alright, we're going to skip through that. We've already done the... The, the text, so we don't really need to go through it again. So we'll skip the dungeon. And while we're going through the dialogue, might be a good idea for me to swap. Maybe... Oh god, how do I go about this? I'm gonna put 
Yeah, I'm gonna put Barrow first. We're gonna put Barrow first. Blah 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 princess help blah 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 it's Sabrina She looks different Blah 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 you're saying that it's my choice Sabrina we come for you what are you coming for? Great treasure hello hello nasty fight let's go everyone else can't fight but we can So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click Perish Song off the rip And if we live well, we got them perishing. I'm happy to trade Barrow for that. Now we're going to go out into Brutus. And they're on perish count 3 and 2. So we're going to click Protect. Ghastly use Lick. Cadabra use Confusion. Mistrivus used Astonish. All the perish counts are going to fall. Now we're going to swap Brutus out into... Uh, how do I play this? I don't think that's the play. I think we go for a double protect. Yep. So now, Brutus basically just 1v1 all of these. Let's go for a triple, because quite frankly, we're not doing any damage to them anyway. Lick, Psywave, Confusion. Perfect. And we're going to send Flubberdosh out, because Flubberdosh is going to collect all the EXP off of this. Yep. Perish, perish, perish. Flubberdosh gained 14. That's all Flobodosh got. Flobodosh only got like 30 EXP from that. God damn it. Okay. Uh, I want to nuzzle the Esper. It's going to use light screen. In case it's going to try and put me to sleep. We're going to nuzzle that too. Okay. We, it has put us to sleep now. Now we're just going to keep repeating the trying draining kiss. Ugh, oh, okay. Doesn't matter. But what does matter is now Ivy's here and they're both paralyzed. So what we can do, we're going to leech seed onto the Esper. Let's be Psybeam, Inkay's paralyzed, and then we're going to do the same onto Inkay. Inkay seeded, Psybeam, Hypnosis missed, lovely. Now we're going to Ardent Gaze onto the Inkay. I know we probably could have just killed it there, but it's just in case it, the, these do manage to take out Esper. I've got three Mons. Okay, I think this is over. Now it's time to Drain and Kiss the Inkay. And drain and kiss the Esper. There we go. Nice. See? When I actually go in with strategy, it's like, okay, I know what I'm doing. Sabrina? Ugh. She's snapping out of it. What? Where? Ah, my head. Ow. Ow. Sabrina, you're safe now. We came to get you back. Get... Get me back? What do you... No, I came out here on purpose. This was all part of the plan, but then headaches, and I was attacked. But the plan was being out here for almost a week part of your plan. What have you been eating? I... I... Wait. Raihan? Hey, another fan. Yeah, it's Raihan. Are you one of the fan gang? <laughs> Lol. I follow your roto photo stories. Sabrina, don't blow up his head any more than it already is, okay? I need you to think back. What do you remember? I don't remember. I remember the yelling and the anger, then running out here and nothing. Hold on, we've got something serious to discuss before we, ta we take you one step What? We've got something serious to discuss before we take you one step further. For Sabrina? I, I know, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to reveal everyone's stories or everyone's secrets. I, I shouldn't have snapped it. Where did you get that adorable tank top? Huh? Seriously? A crop tank top with low-rise jeans? That's fashion if I've ever seen it. You're more daring than I thought. It's... It's just a grocery store. Hold on. You're telling me you picked out that cute outfit at a grocery store? What could you do in an actual clothes store? I don't know, but I want to find out. Sounds like a trip to Forever 151. Forever 151. Forever. <laughs> Forever 151. <laughs> That's Janichi Mazuda's favorite shop. <laughs> I can't buy anything, but I can lend an eye and. No. You don't understand. I'm a witch. A curse. 
I'll only hurt you if you try to get closer to me. I'll expose everything about you. Sabrina, you know what my darkest secret is? Yes. And so does everyone else. It's literally on every single one of my wiki pages. I've made a couple of mistakes, most of them involving Ryan, and he told everyone he didn't even have Esper powers as an excuse. Guilty as charged. Not proud of it though. I'll just have trouble keeping my mouth shut when something great happens. I'm not quite sure I have anything like a secret, but well, I reckon I've already done the most embarrassing thing that could happen to me this year. What with begging Janine to let me back in the battle team. I... maybe then, but... Come on. You don't need to make any decisions right now. The thing we need to do is get you back to school. Rai, could you give her a hand? Sorry, gotta keep my hands free for this victory selfie. Wanza, uh, you think you got a hand free? Uh, you think you got a hand free for a pretty girl? Ugh, the only thing worse than Ryan's flirting is when he tries to wingman for you. I... I can walk by myself. Take my hand. No. No? They... Those students... They targeted me because of you. Steady on, Sabrina. That wasn't his fault. I know. It wasn't anyone's fault but my own. I... But I... I know. You did everything right. Oh. You even stayed away from me, which was all I asked for. If I can't keep people safe when they do everything right... When I do everything right, then what can I... I understand you're su upset, Sabrina. Alex does too. Don't take it out on him or yourself. Yeah, it was my fault. Not wholly. I think we could all do with some space and some time. Just like Diamond and Pearl, baby! Let's head back to the campus grounds, alright? Alright. I... I don't want to seem ungrateful. You've, you've been through a lot. Anyone would get it. I'm sure I'd feel the same. I just joined up to help a friend. I'm not really sure what your deal is, but we got no beef. I don't expect any thanks. Just doing what I do. I... I really am. I... I... Hey, it's alright. We understand. Yeah, boy. I'm not... I'm not laughing like that. That was amazing. I... really hurt right now, and I've got all kinds of bumps and aches and stuff, but we pulled it off. I... Ugh. Oh, I'm going to feel that in the morning. Guess one of them got a lucky blow on me. Well, we may not be whole, but we made it through all the way, without quitting. Oh, that's a nasty bruise. So, uh, I'm glad I got to be part of this wicked adventure and all. Really does remind me of the Glorian stars and how we all were in the beginning. But I got my ass kicked up and down that forest for hours, and I'd like some context. Only Leon can kick my ass, not birds or mushrooms or whatever. Could someone explain what that was all about? Who are you, Sabrina? Why'd you run out here? What did you mean, exposing secrets? I kind of got the idea that you're a mental, but... Uh, ex ne on the mental, A. Eh? They call them espers in this region. Okay. Context? Oh, where do we start? You got a long trip back together, you got a lot of time to tell him the story. Everyone makes their way back to the infirmary, battered and bruised. You arrive, hopefully for the third and final time, at the infirmary. Oh! Sabrina, I'm glad you're safe. Please lie down on this bed here. I... thank you, you five. It means... it means so much to me. I... Oh, Sabrina, it was the right thing to do. Don't worry about it. Right, it was only proper. I don't like seeing people trapped. You could call it selfishness. I still really don't get what we were doing or why we were doing it, but I get it was the right thing to do. I... I must tell you that... There'll be plenty of time for telling your friends whatever you wish after you've rested. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, but the infer- Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Me again. Of course, we need to find our next mission after all. Oh, no, no more missions. We did your thing, Rosa. Now I'm going to teach you how to chill out. Come on, you know it was fun, right, Ness? I'm not denying that, Sunny, but Sabrina needs calm. And that means no shenanigans for, like, at least a week. 
Oh, okay. After that, though, I've got a couple really great shenanigans in mind. I've got enough footage from all that to make a little documentary anyway, so that could be fun. Wait, you were recording all that? Your companions leave the room. Hi, Ms. Miriam. Guess who's back? I really hope you're not planning on making a routine of this young man. As long as there are people who need to be rescued, I'm planning on it, yeah. Well, you know the routine by now. Can you describe the nature of the injuries the patient sustained? Same stuff as last time. A few bumps and scrapes, but also confusion, disorientation, headaches. Hmm. Any ideas, Nurse Miriam? I mentioned before that I was fairly confident that my patients had been hypnotized, yes. I'm beyond certain of it now. It seemed whatever was out there in the forest wanted them to fulfill some purpose. I don't believe it wanted to hurt them, as they seem to have been in, in they seem to have been entirely under its control. It wanted to keep them, but not hurt them. Whoever or whatever is out there, perhaps it's confused and wanted them to deliver some sort of message. Maybe that was what was behind their garbled speech. Hmm. Is there any chance they're still hypnotized? No, not at all. A person who's currently under the effects of hypnosis cannot be hypnotized, uh, hypnotized again. My hypnotherapy treatments worked on the other two, so they're definitely free now. That's a relief. Well, I'm sure after a nice long nap, Sabrina will be right as rain, and it seems like she's developed a good support network to rely on. Actually, I'm pretty sure Sabrina didn't know any of those girls before today. Maybe Rosa. Barely. Poor girl. She's gone through so much hardship already, and all because of those powers of hers. Thank you for everything you've done. I shudder to imagine what would have happened to those four people if you hadn't rescued them. Hey, it was a group effort. Every time. I'm just glad to help. I won't be forgetting this. I don't mean to pry, but do you have any interest in the nursing course? Sounds great, Miss Miriam, but I don't think it's for me. Perhaps it's embarrassing at this point, but I don't believe I ever caught your name. Huh? Yeah, I guess you never asked. It's Alex. Alex Wansey. Oh, you're Alex. Yep, the one who... well, you know. Oh, I'm so sorry. What you went through was grossly unfair. If people knew just how variant, how much variance there were in our, our bodies, they wouldn't think powers like yours would be strange at all. Well, that was half of it. I also tried to hide it, but I've moved past that. And other people are starting to, too. This isn't the worst thing in the world. Well, my offer from before still stands. If you ever need to talk, I'm here. Unqualified as I am. After seeing how you take care of Grusha, Jasmine, and my other classmates, I'm pretty sure you're qualified for everything and anything. Hmm. Dilapidated capillaries on the cheeks, higher heart rate. Oh, you. This must be your frenzy at work. Go off now. I've patients who require my attention. Sure thing, Miss Miriam. Thank you for taking my yeah, taking care of my friends. What? Oh my god! We got more Diverals! With... from Janine. A Phalanx Forever all a Viper for... Wait, a Phalanx Forever all. Yellow's overjoyed. Right, I want to quickly look at what the Phalanx one does, because that... Flavadash will create it when equipped to a proper... Uh, boosts no retreat. Prevents switching. Grants the same effect to allies. Wow. Okay. Okay. Grants no retreat and power up punch. When you give to Flobodoshi's electric. Right, I'm giving that right now. Use it on Phalanx. Use the Phalanx forever all. Teach no retreat. And power up punch. So we'll get rid of Rock Smash for power up punch in a minute. But we're going to focus energy. Forget focus energy. Uh, and then we're going to use it again on Phalanx to teach Power Up Punch instead of Rock Smash. Forget Rock Smash. And then we're going to uh, give it to Phalanx. And Brutus has now become an absolute monster. Phalanx has just become insane. Like, incredibly insane. Okay, but that's my friends, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to leave this episode for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed yourselves, and we will continue the story in the next episode. So thank you very, very much, and I will catch you in the next one. Look after yourselves, and bye-bye.